what are some of the top nutritional supplements or just any type of supplements that you would say we should be taking almost on a daily basis for immunity? Well, if we take a step back away from just coronavirus and we look at some of the meta-analyses on just upper respiratory tract infections from randomized clinical studies in humans, we know that if you are severely vitamin D deficient, that you only need to treat four people with vitamin D supplementation to prevent one upper respiratory tract infection. Now, that's from a meta-analysis of over 11,000 participants in over 25 randomized clinical studies. So absolutely, if someone is deficient in a vitamin or a mineral, giving them a supplement can be dramatically beneficial. And that goes obviously across the board to any vitamin or any mineral. That leads me, I guess, to the next question is why aren't we then giving more? And you're seeing a little bit of this. You see these kind of, you know, I'm looking at social media and research and the United Kingdom now is trying to get vitamin D to more people. And other. Why, why are we, though, so hesitant, do you think, to do these things, to give vitamin C, vitamin D, magnesium? Why is it that, you know, more medical institutions aren't saying, listen, before we even get a vaccine, start doing these things? start giving vitamin D, start doing this uh, other uh, and start eating. Well, I haven't heard really any, and most people haven't heard any of that. The primary issue, in my opinion, is that you have pharma, right? Essentially integrated into the medical schools. Most clinicians only get four hours of nutrition. The rest is, here's how to prescribe my drug to treat this condition not the underlying cause could be vitamin D deficiency and maybe simply giving testing for that and maybe giving someone a vitamin D supplement might actually help. Clinicians aren't even trained to do this. So there's a lot of money involved at stake. And that's probably why most doctors don't necessarily even understand nutrition, nor do they think of supplementation over prescribing a medication. Do you also think that there's an over-reliance from the public to, I'm not going to say trust, but go along with what doctors and top experts are saying? I know, you know, I I work at a clinic here in New York and a managing director and see lots of patients who come in. And of course, we're giving a different perspective from an integrative holistic side of things. But still, the cardiologist, the expert at the hospital supersedes Usually what we say here, even though most of the doctors I work with started at that place and were the top people there and just moved over. Do you think that's part of the issue that we are still as a general society, the majority of us go along with what Dr. FDA Big Pharma has to say and has that level of trust that hasn't really felt broken yet? Pharma likes to target those big doctors and get them on their payroll, 100%. There's no question about it. And, and they have to disclose that in their publications. And typically when you see these you know, clinicians publishing a New England Journal of Medicine, sometimes their conflicts of interest are longer than the paper they submitted and published. And so it absolutely is controlling how these doctors think, prescribe, and treat their patients. And if there's one thing I, I wish more people would do, just have that open mind to look, because listen, I understand some of this isn't backed in research and, and a lot of integrative medicine is still catching up you know, and there, there is a lot that still hasn't been scientifically proven, but you as a researcher and this book, I have to say has what 170 something pages of references. When I picked it up, I said, damn, this is a big book. It's going to take me a while. And I got one weekend to read it, but I went through it like that because I realized so much of it were the references, which really gives it the validity. So it's not that you're coming out with this stuff and just posing hypotheses. You're looking at the data, you're looking to see if there are conflicts of interest, of course, and you're putting it out there. So I guess my question is, with all this data coming out now and and you doing good, and many others pushing it out, do you feel there will be a movement of people to start embracing this a little bit more to start taking? And I guess you could say it already has because you go to Amazon, anything with immune system core, you know, next to it is right. sold out. Do you think we'll continue that trend? Or do you think after a vaccine comes out and people start to calm down, will we go back to the old ways, eating poorly, not caring about immune supplements, and everything else? Well, I like to think I'm a positive person, but I'm also a realist too. And I know these things take a long time. And will we ever get to the point where I would love us to be at? I don't think so. I mean, mm-hmm. we still don't even have vitamin and mineral tests covered by insurance companies. And yet over 90% of Americans are deficient in at least one vitamin or mineral. And yet they can't even get 
a test for these things that are typically covered by insurance that are typically not covered by insurance companies. So it's, it's a, it's a real issue. No, it is. And, and I, I understand that, you know, we as a medical center, and a lot of the doctors I deal with in our, our network are completely out of pocket now because otherwise your hands are tied. You can't really do too much for the patient when you're in the, the insurance model. And it's, it's not then about, you know, money or insurance. It's about how do I best help the patient? And to do that, I have to go in a different direction than where everyone else is sort of going, which is really unfortunate because suddenly it becomes a, a matter of money and can I afford to have treatment even with healthcare insurance. So I'm totally on board with you on that, that, that so much of this is just overlooked, neglected, not covered by insurance, and, and it's just staying that way, unfortunately. Now, empowering your, yourself means going outside sometime medical model and looking at those things like supplements, like nutrition, like sleep and saunas and so forth. 